Utilizing Melodyne's technology here in Pro Tools typically meant using the conventional method of having to insert the plugin and then transferring the audio in real time. Now you can imagine how long that would take if you had X amount of tracks that were X amount of time long. I've personally done sessions where I've been up to 40 tracks of vocals and several minutes long. And you can imagine how long it takes just to transfer that audio. I mean, talk about grabbing a cup of coffee. I could have gone out for lunch. Well, regardless, here in Pro Tools 12, with the advent of the new commit feature, we're able to utilize a workaround to help you speed that up tremendously. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Here we have an example. We have a guitar clean. Let's take a listen. All right, so you'd still have to insert the plugin. So why don't we come to our inserts under plugin, choose Celimony and Melodyne Mono in this example, because it's a mono track we're working with. And our plugin window opens. All right. Now that we have the plugin inserted, we can see that the Git Clean is here in the tracks view. If you don't see this in the plugin window, you can toggle these viewing options on and off here just like so, okay? Now, enable transfer. Next, come up to the track name itself. Right-click and choose Commit. And this dialog box opens. Now, under the Commit, the first dropdown, we have Selected Tracks or Edit Selection. I wanna do the entire track. If I had a selection highlighted, this option would probably be available for me, but I'm gonna keep it on Selected Tracks. And keep in mind that if you wanted to render automation, you'd have to check these boxes as well. You may and may not want to do that. Typically when working with Melodyne, you want everything to be as pure and as original as possible. Next, we have uh, sends, group assignments, and insert locations. Under that, I want to choose do nothing. But more importantly is the offline check. If this isn't activated, then you're going to have to wait conventionally for the audio to transfer in real time regardless and kind of defeats the purpose. So make sure that offline is active here in the commit tracks dialog window box. And when everything looks all set, just simply hit OK. Now the track is going to be processed, committed and rendered without having to wait in real time. Take a listen. It's as easy as that. Again, we didn't have to wait for it to transfer in real time, utilizing the commit feature here, available specifically from Pro Tools 12 and up, I believe. You can look that up and double check for yourself. But committing tracks really speeds up the process of having not to wait for transferring audio, specifically when working with Melodyne here in your workflow. Now you know. Thanks for watching.